Hello YouTube bro, my name is Nicholas Montez and you're watching my YouTube channel, The Teenage Movie Critic and welcome back to tonight's YouTube channel everybody. I'm so excited to have you all back together again and in today's video, we're going to be continuing the Oscar rankings and today we are ranking the, t the nominees for Best Live Action Short Film. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. Real quick before we do get started though, um, this will be actually the first list that I have not seen every short film. I've seen at least three of them. The only reason for it is because two of them, which I'll show in in just a minute, I could not find them anywhere to watch. So unfortunately, I could not find them to review them. And then um, also the animated short films, I unfortunately cannot do because I cannot find any of these short films anywhere. So the only rankings you're going to get this week are the live action short films, as well as, I believe, adapted screenplay, which will be on Sunday later today. So with that said, let's go and get started doing this ranking. And for me, as in the actual last place is Night of Fortune, and this was an interesting one that had good performances all around. That basically, you know, this guy, he's suffering from his wife and he doesn't really want to deal with the, the loss of his wife. And there's an interesting story through that. It kind of feels like it's a little bit too long, even though it's a short film. It's only 24 minutes long. And I kind of feel like Maybe stretched it out maybe a little bit 30, maybe 20 minutes. It probably would have done better. Otherwise, I still think it's a really good short film. Now this was the first short film I watched of these films and it's basically about this, got this dad who loses his wife and his daughter. They get killed. And you see how his life w was so good. And when that happened, his whole life was changed. And what's so interesting is he becomes this cab driver where, you know, he picks up people, this Uber driver, and he picks up people. He gets to see different perspectives of pe every day's, of people everyday lives, of what they're going through and what they're doing. And it creates all these scenarios to like when he gets to the end, and he finally cries and he has to learn to accept and let it let the death of his family go. That when he gets the hug from the girl, he realizes that's what I needed. I needed a hug and, he, and I need to move on. To me, the top two short films are easily great and this is a great short film. I loved The After. Now, I believe this is the first piece of Wes Anderson stuff that I've ever watched. And I remember seeing a trailer for this short film about a couple months ago. And I was like, this looks pretty interesting. And then I finally saw it on Netflix. And I thought it was just one of the best movies that I saw. It was just a unique piece of telling the story of this man of Henry Sugar. But at the same time, having that Wes Anderson feel... Which, I, like I said, I've never watched a Wes Anderson film, but the way that the story is being told, it's just done so well where it's like, they're not really acting, they're more of telling you the story of this in like a sort of documentary type of style, in a way. And and all the performances are great with Benedict Cumberbatch and uh, Ben Kingsley, and everybody that's doing this is so good. The color palette is great, and it's just one of the best short films that I've ever seen in a long time. Easily, this has to win for best short live action short film. And so for me, it comes in at number one. That's my ranking of all the sh live action short films. Um, thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you've seen any of these short films down below, please sure tell me down below your ranking of all the live action short films that were nominated at the Oscars. And what film are you um, hoping to win? So, 
with that said, bye guys.